Your Excellency, Dr. Coley, Dr. Bout, Dr. Kapadia, Dr. Shah, Dr. Mehta, and the Registrar, Dr. Kimani. And dear friends, I'm calling you all friends because I think this is my fifth time in Ahmedabad and then the third time in uh, uh, Vidyapith. That this is, a, this is an outstanding honor for me to be here, to be sitting with you all. Um, we came a long way over the last half a century. I have first stepped into a cat lab where we mend people's hearts about 45 years ago. So I witnessed the last half a century's journey. In those days, out of 100 people who were hospitalized with heart attacks, only 70 survived the hospitalization, 30 died. We made big progress to mend those hearts by medications, by putting stents in, by putting bypass surgery. Now, only three out of 100 die instead of 30. Yet, there is another side of the coin. Now, we have many more people with heart disease, many more people having heart attacks at much younger age. This is a trend all over the world. Heart disease is by far the number one disease that kills people. So we fought and won some battles, but it is not clear if we are winning the war or not. Many of us think that if we go the way that we have been going on the last half a century, devoting the resources to areas that we have devoted, we may very well lose the war at all. And uh, because the disease of the heart and the blood vessels are really a disease of lifestyle. More prosperous we get, more cars we have, more elevators we have, more escalators we have, more food abundance we have that, that we enjoy, more we get heart disease, more of us die, maybe not as early as we used to. So how apt it is, how appropriate it is, that now the new universal health program is established in a Gandhi university, a university that was formed by Gandhi. Because if nothing else, Gandhi showed us how to lead an honorable, dignified, and sustainable life with an excellent lifestyle. He never shied away to do his own chores. He always was active. He never ate more than he needed to eat. He, everything he has done for only what he needed. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to change, but it's not easy. I think the, the UHB Center now in an academic institution with such excellence will allow the practitioners to teach the younger generations, but not only to the practitioners and the caregivers of the future, but they will also teach, I trust, to the people, to the people, so how to live more dignified, more serene, more tranquil lifestyles, and also incorporate many of the non-pharmacological, non-interventional aspects of treatment, which is absolutely critical. And I think another thing that we need to look at the holistic approach to cardiovascular medicine and for that matter, other health issues is academically, rigorously examining them and hone them so how we can apply it in the finest way and provide and generate evidence so that we can apply it all over the world. Because some of us may believe in this, but we have to go beyond belief and prove. And I can't imagine anywhere better than Vidyapit Gujarat to, uh, to, uh, to practice that in an academic way. So I think that the, uh, uh, the Honorable Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor and all those who have uh, uh, committed and participated so much to the effort here should be congratulated in that regard. Um, I also want to end my comments by recalling uh, uh, Dr. Kokila Kapadia. I have very deep and very close relationship with the Kapadia family. With that, not only with Dr. Ramesh Kapadia, 
but with Dr. Kapadia, who's arguably probably the number one interventional cardiologist in the United States today, who was my student, uh, resident, and, and very close partner for the last 20 years ongoing. I think Dr. Kokila Kapadia, uh, which I had the pleasure and honor to uh, uh, meet and know a little bit, exemplified many of the Gandhian principles. She was always very tranquil. She was extremely graceful. In her presence, you felt very comfortable. You, you, you were almost relieved of your stress, and she was wide. She didn't talk very much, but when she talked, she, every, every word, every sentence was something to, to pay attention to. She, she paid attention to the health, and she understood, I think, inherently, the value between the relationship between mind and the body. So with that, I thank you all for all the efforts that you have put in, and I think I congratulate you. What a wonderful initiative that Gujaratians will have in their disposal. Thank you.